The notice on the Overcomer Ministry website says, With great faith in the power of the resurrection and the nearness of Jesus' second coming, the Overcomer Ministry announces the passing of our dear brother, Prophet R.G. Stair, on April 3, 2021, at 11.17 p.m. at his home in South Carolina. Several DXers soon forwarded stories from two Charleston TV stations, channels 4 and 5, about him. One of them headlined, Ralph Stare, Colleton County Preacher Accused of Sex Crimes, Passes Away. My reply, how would you like your obit to be about your sex crimes, or merely connected to some unknown county, rather than worldwide impact as a last-day prophet of God? Sure, we've not heard the last of the acts. Most of his 24-7 stuff was already playbacks, sometimes decades old. As long as deluded psychophants keep the dollars flowing, he may live forever, like Pastor Pete Peters, Dr. Gene Scott, and other broadcast gospel hucksters. Stations subsisting on that cash may be nervous and in for cutbacks. WRMI has already reduced his hours. Others carrying him, WWCR and WBCQ. By the way, remember a few years ago, the cover homepage had an image of a boneyard, but it's long since removed. WCSC story says he died of heart failure at his home. He had been under hospice care. His age unclear, either 84 or 87. He was awaiting trial after being accused of sexually assaulting several women and children at the ministry. Ron Howard was surprised to learn from the WCIV story that there were much earlier charges of against him. A background check showed that in 2002, he had been arrested and charged with two counts each of second-degree criminal sexual conduct, assault and battery of a high and aggravated nature, and breach of trust. Bishop Bob Bierman, sort of with WRMI, says since Stair has paid in advance a month or more at most stations, you will keep hearing him until the money runs out. However, George McClendock, who used to run WWCR, tells me he would not pay in advance, but did always pay his bills afterwards. On April 5th, Spanish Foreign Radio finally got its North American frequency going again.